into Washington, and President Biden's approval rating is still down. It's now at 37 percent. Today, the president failing to address looming worries of a possible recession. While many Americans are also struggling with other domestic issues like COVID-19, gas prices, the baby formula shortage. But not all Democrats are feeling that same heat. A study based specifically on primary voters in New Hampshire finds more support for Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg than current President Biden. It found that 17 percent of likely 2024 Democratic primary voters in that state would choose Buttigieg over other possible candidates. And that's one percent higher than Biden. Hannah Trudeau joins us now from our partners at The Hill. Hannah, thanks for being with us. Now, this poll comes as a growing percentage of Democrats say they don't even want Biden to run for another term, a significant faction specifically saying they're concerned about his age. But based on this poll, you know, is Pete Buttigieg the clear cut choice like the poll is seeming to indicate? Yeah, that's right. Now, New Hampshire is such a crucial state. And if you think back to the 2020 Democratic primary when it was an open field, Pete Buttigieg actually came in second place in that small rural state. And, and Biden was much further behind uh, at that point in the nominating contest. So in some respects, it's not so surprising that the former South Bend mayor uh, and current transportation secretary is now climbing his way back up to the top. But it is interesting that, you know, as Biden's approval rating continues to sink, like, like you indicated, some of these other Democrats, including uh, Buttigieg in particular, have kind of risen back up into the ranks. We, we hear Democratic strategists uh, and certainly activists and even some voters on the ground talking about, you know, is there a possible candidate who may be, like the poll indicates, younger than Biden, who will be obviously in his 80s by 2024? And uh, Mayor Pete, as, as he was affectionately called on the campaign trail last cycle, he was he was in his 30s at the time. And so that he got some criticism for that. But he's now 40 uh, and, and he's he's getting a fresh look in the eyes of at least some of these Granite State voters. All right, well, Hannah, you know, let's talk about some of those other Democrats, because trailing Secretary Buttigieg and President Biden and in, in that poll is Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. Now, you wrote today in The Hill, though, that Warren does not appear to have her sights set on the White House anymore. Yeah, that's right. For now, Elizabeth Warren has said on the record uh, publicly that she's seeking a, another term to the Senate. And so I think back to 2018 and uh, she and other Democrats who ended up running for president uh, for that Democratic nomination also said similar things. Now, it, that's not to say we shouldn't take uh, Senator Warren's word for it this time around, but it's, it's definitely reasonable that she might have uh, her sights set on the Senate again. That being said, she has emerged um, in the eyes of many Democrats, both at the national and state level, as somebody who is an incredibly effective surrogate for some of these midterm candidates. And so that enables her both to promote uh, Democratic uh, causes, the agenda that, that, that she and Biden are, are trying to promote on the uh, in, in, in D.C., but also on the campaign trail. And so we've we've chronicled in this piece some of the, the recent travels that she's been able to sort of rack up on, on her frequent flyer miles. And they do include places like Wisconsin and Michigan. And she's she's headed to Pennsylvania. So these are uh, notable general election battlegrounds. And so, you know, as things kind of carry on, we keep an eye on who goes where. And so that's one indication that Elizabeth Warren is at least dipping her toe into the national spotlight Again. Yeah. And again, you know, these are primary voters in New Hampshire. Obviously, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts border each other. So we know that Senator Warren gets a lot of exposure in that state as well. All right. Hannah Trudeau from our partners at The Hill. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.